Hi guys, so we are on, on our way to Studio 13. Studio 13 and I'm with my lovely friend. Say hi. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going there because she needs to change her piercing. Because I don't know how to, apparently it's hard. I don't know if you guys can see it, but she has a pierced nose. Yeah. And we are just on our way over there. And it's like raining so hard. It's been raining since yesterday. Since yesterday. Oh. No, the day before yesterday. Yeah. Hasn't it? Yes, yeah, the day before yesterday. So she's not used to her piercing because she got a hoop. Oh my gosh, it came off. I'm so, what is this? And it started bleeding and she's like... I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, she's scared. <laughs> so she fixed it. I think. <laughs> we <laughs> figured it out. <laughs> She figured it out. We figured it out. So, so it's weird, but whatever. We're gonna go to In N Out now to get some animal style fries. Her yes. favorite. <laughs> <laughs> and after we're gonna go get green tea ice cream. We're gonna be fat asses and we're not gonna care. Because <laughs> yeah. all we do is eat. And doesn't go to the gym but goes to In N Out. <laughs> <laughs> all the time. <laughs> So don't mind me looking like shit because I just didn't feel like getting ready today because it is a rainy day and I'm here with my friend. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> well, well, we got to in and out and the kitchen is flooded. So we're gonna go to Panera, which is in Marmina. <laughs> but at least we're gonna go eat bomb over there because Panera is always bomb. We just got to Panera and it's next to Ulta. How cool. We're probably gonna like and go Target. in there. Oh yeah, Target's over there. Target's right there. And we're probably gonna go to Ulta right now. So this is what we got. This is our favorite tea. Um it's, it's a green the, tea. Green tea, right? Green yeah, it's green a green tea. tea. Iced tea. Green iced tea. Green iced tea. So, good. so tell him what you got. Green tomato. And it's vegetarian and it's so good. And she got something vegetarian too. I got the broccoli, broccoli cheddar soup. Mm -hmm. We we strictly asked them for a bread bowl and they brought us in a regular bowl. Well, How that's great. Okay. That's okay because we still got our bread. Our bread on the side, right? Yeah. We have a story time when we're done eating for you guys. So stay tuned. <laughs> she just finished pumping gas. And she wants to tell you guys in story time. So it's about Tinder and to keep away from Tinder. So start yeah, your story guys. time. So I got on Tinder like like two months ago maybe. I don't really use it, but I got on Tinder. I don't know why. I'm really I was I was feeling some type of way. I was feeling some type of way. So I got on Tinder <laughs> and like I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with it. You swipe left and right, right? So I matched with this guy. So he wasn't my type, but I still gave him a chance, right? Because he was like super nice. At that time, well, I still kept replying, right? And so that guy, that guy kept like messaging me because I wasn't really interested, right? But he, he was interesting. Like we had pretty interesting conversations, but like I wouldn't reply, right? So he was like, if I want to reply, he's the type of guy who would like text me again. And then I, at, at first I thought I was cute, but then after, you know, pretty annoying. It was around Black Friday and I work in retail. So well, I have, I used to have two jobs. So I work in retail and I used to have like a restaurant job. So I remember I had to work my both jobs that day. I used to, um, I worked like in the morning at the restaurant and then like in the afternoon I worked at, um, I don't want to say the name, but I used to work at like I, at the mall, right? So like I was pretty busy. I think I worked like 12 hours that day. I was some crazy stuff. And so he kept messaging me. Like he was like, "How was your Thanksgiving?" Blah blah. But let me remind you that I worked right. I, I worked like for 12 hours. But he was messaging me right, like on Thanksgiving, whatever. And so it took like maybe three days for me to reply back. He was a really persistent, like a really nice guy overall. So he asked me like, 
if we like if we could hang out and I was like okay and that was like my first Tinder date so that was my first Tinder date and like I was really nervous and like he wasn't even from my town so I met him halfway before that he asked me if I smoked and like and stuff like that and I was like kind of like hmm like should I trust this guy but I trusted I trust everyone so I just like I was just like yeah here and there but anyways so I was like yeah he was like hey like do you want to smoke with me blah blah and I was like hmm because I wasn't like I wasn't like an expert smoking I didn't want to look stupid either so I was like hmm like I, no I don't think so right but then he was like I'll take an edible just in case you know and so I was like okay whatever so we were driving or whatever he seemed like he seemed like really really I don't know what to say like he was like nice but he looked like a serial killer and so she went on this date and guess what she did she started sharing locations with me guys yeah, okay. I shared my location because mind this, it was like 30 to 40 minutes away from my town. So I was like, you know, what if something happens? What if I get lost or something? What if he fucking kidnaps me and chops me into pieces, you know? And so, and I also told her and my friend, another friend, a guy friend, I was like, if I text you guys, um, call Red, wait five minutes and then call me and pretend I have to go pick you up or something so I can leave, you know, if I'm having a bad time, you know? That's really smart, by the way. You guys should do that. And, you know, so... I go and like we were driving up the mountain because it was like a mountain and he was like oh I have an edible right here and it was like in his little thing right there and then um in his glove department yeah glove um department I was like oh, okay you know he mentioned the edible but I wasn't like my intention wasn't to take an edible but then again let me tell you guys it's really hard for me to say no when I'm put on the spot like I can't say no like when I'm like put on the spot because I'm just like oh I feel bad I looked down and I was like oh okay he's like you can grab some if you want so what do I do I grab some I ate like a small piece it wasn't like half of it okay it was like half of a half and so I take that thing I ate it and it was it didn't start to kick in like it took like maybe like I want to say like 45 minutes or something around that I was texting her of course right but it was kind of rude if you text someone when you're on a date you know so I try not to text people but that's the first thing I told her like when I got a chance when I'm scared because we stopped at a, a, at a place and I was like dude the view is so beautiful but then he started getting super weird I knew I knew his intentions so the edible started to kick in and I was just kind of like I and so that's been like my highest high ever and it wasn't even like a high like it was like it was like paranoid high like I didn't even laugh like it was kind of like scared like I was legit scared that he wanted like to kidnap me and like I felt like he was gonna kill me I felt like everything he did was just for him to chop me into pieces and just you know leave me around like the trail you know like no one was gonna find me I can't explain how I felt like in my mind he wanted to kill me in my mind I was gonna die and like it was like a really bad feeling because I was like my mom's like she's not gonna like know you know that I'm dead well obviously she was gonna know but you know I was like really scared like I was like what is my mom gonna think when she finds that I'm dead you know and so I was even too scared to use the, the code you know like call me you know but she did call me when I was like did I'm scared she called me right away but then I started to shake I was literally shaking you didn't even answer the phone call I didn't because I was so scared I was I thought like if I answered he was gonna kill me and like he was gonna like chop me into pieces and I remember um I was in the passenger seat because we were in his car he was right here like driving whatever and um um, he was like, I'm getting kind of crampy right here. And then I looked at him, and then he's like, Do you want to go to the back? Like, to the back seat? And I was just like, No. And I looked at the back seat because when he's, so I was kind of like, you know, I was high already. So I looked at the back seat, and then I see the seats were down, you know, like the seats were down, and so I could see his trunk. Mm -hmm. And I started to freak out. I started to feel like a little bit like claustrophobic. I was like, No, 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 no. I was like, I can't do this. I was like, I, I can't, like, you know, and, like, I was, like, I was, like, it's it's so hot in here. He was, like, oh, are you hot? And he was, like, really caring. Like, he, I constantly asked me, oh, are you hot? Are you cold? Oh, you know, he was asking me how I felt. He was trying to make me comfortable. But then I was, like, no, this, this is trying to make me comfortable just so I don't see, like, it coming, you know, like, when he's going to kill me. And so in my <laughs> mind, he was a killer. And, like, and, like, I remember also, um, so we didn't go to the back. I told him I felt claustrophobic, so I wanted to stay in the front, which is kind of stupid because the front was like smaller, you know. And so he was like, "Okay, whatever." And um, I remember he tried to kiss me, <laughs> and you know when a serial killer tries to kiss you, or at least I thought he was a serial killer. And 
he was leaning forward and I was just like I started to freak out my heart dropped guys like I was like this is this is the time I'm gonna die this is how I'm gonna die and so I was just like everything like I was so scared like I've never been that scared in my life and um it took me by surprise I was just like you know and then he like he looks at me cuz I was just like back down like you know like I didn't want to kiss him and like <laughs> like he was really handsome so he looks at me and he's like I'm sorry cuz I you know he started to explain himself and how like he's sorry because you know he didn't make it he didn't want to make it awkward so you know he started talking about like how he tried to kiss me blah blah and I was just like you know I don't know and that happened and then I was like and when that happened I was just like oh I think we should go you know because I mean I had the boss to say I think we should go because I was like really scared and he didn't know I was scared he didn't know I was gonna like you know I think I'm ranting too much because I'm driving and I can't concentrate mm -hmm. so I'm sorry about that we started going down and let me remind you guys so we were up we were like literally I was literally high but I was also high <laughs> Where did like, you leave your car that night? I left it um, in his hometown, like, in oh. wherever we were. I met over there, and then we still had to drive, so oh. it was, like, in his hometown. And so, we were literally high, and I was, like, I was literally high, but I was also, like, high, you know? And so, we were going down, and I felt like I was in a roller coaster, and I was so scared. I held his hand, like, literally, like, grabbed his hand like this, like, couple kind of thing, you know? Like, and... <laughs> <laughs> it was so awkward and then he held my hand back and then it was kind of like I think he thought I liked him or I don't know what he thought but um, I was so scared and my whole world was spinning and I remember I was like we were like I saw this like little airplane or I don't know it wasn't even like an airplane it was like I don't know what they're called they're like little lights in the sky I don't know and I was like do you see that that's an alien <laughs> and then he, he was agreeing with me I think he was pretty high too because he had to take some, like, he took some, he ate some um, edible, like, he had a piece too, and uh, <laughs> I was like, I think that's an alien, and then he was like, yeah, I think so too, like, he was agreeing with me, but the next day he told me he was paranoid too, but, um, not as me though, because I thought he was going to kill me, and so he's like, and then he was like, do you want to go to some other place, and it was like another hiking trail, which was like 30 I think it was like 30 minutes away from that one and I was but I wasn't familiar with it you know like I didn't know and um, I was like no I think I think I want to go home already I was like because I can't really drive at night but obviously I can drive at night obviously I have a good vision so I was like I was just lying I was just trying to get out of there and then so he took me back to my car where I left it I had like hometown and like the drive back was so fucking long like when we were driving back we were still holding hands and like it was just I was, it was just so bad it was like the worst tinder day ever it's in like the only tinder day actually and yeah that's pretty much my story it's like lesson learned like don't don't do stupid things like me guys so I just randomly out of the blue just blocked his number block blocked him from snapchat you know guys because With, he would never leave me alone yeah he would just stay bothering her even though he knew she had school and work especially and two work jobs. two jobs it's honestly like he's he's boyfriend material he has he um has a job has a car goes to college you know he's not bad looking he's tall you know everything good hair you know what else you want but he was like really nice and i just pushed him away pretty much tell him your lesson yeah, my lesson. I already said my lesson. Like, don't no, look for, don't look for someone. Like, don't go out there looking for someone. Like, I honestly think that that someone will eventually come into your life. You just have to be wait. I don't, yeah, I actually do believe that because I mean, I was single for like four or five years. Remember? Ever mm -hmm. since my like, freshman year, you know, sophomore year. Yeah. And I didn't look for anyone, and like someone just came into my life, and like. They're gone now. But yeah. Um, yeah. So don't look for anyone. Just let love come to you. As cheesy as it sounds, it's honestly the best. Yeah. And be careful if you want to do dates, of course. Share your location. Um, make With sure your friends. Or, um, don't get high. Make sure. Um, make sure they're not serial killers. You know. <laughs> and that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.
for watching.